helping my skin clear up. It's probably the prescription though. First thing I got from Sephora, I already opened this because I couldn't wait earlier today during my break. I was like, oh, I can't believe this arrived. I ordered this yesterday afternoon and it came this morning. Sephora's on Amazon Prime Time. This is the new Kaoli Sparkling Lychee. If you know me, I love lychee. It's coconut honeydew lychee in that order. So when I saw this, I was like instant purchase. I'm embarrassed to admit how many times I spritzed it already because the sillage is not really, it's not lasting, but that's kind of expected with Kaoli. I find with the vanilla cocoa, it doesn't last long. That one is divine because coconut, of course. The young pistachio lasts a pretty good time. So I might get a full size. Sephora announced that they're doing 20% off full size perfumes. I wish they were doing it off of all perfumes because this little bitty thing is $40. So I might as well have gotten the full size. Although truth be told, like I like it, but I don't love it. Like it does smell like lychee, but the florals are a little bit too strong for me. Mm. The samples they put in the shipment though, chef's kiss. That's one thing I love about ordering from Sephora versus going to the store by me. They always put a couple goodies in the bag. Then there's this. $30 on customs. Every time, Savo. If you want something from Savo in time for a trip, order it a month in advance. I'm telling you, I don't even remember how long ago I ordered it. It's literally opposite of Sephora. Like order it and forget about it at this point. But I'm really hyped to show you what's in this bag. So. Would you believe I'm not really much of a pink girl? I mean. The part where I'm wearing pink, I ordered pink. The perfume I just showed you was pink, but really I'm not into pink like that. And I don't remember ordering this clip. Did they put it in my bag for free or did I accidentally forget to take it out of my cart? Which one, pick one. This is giving cream beauty store clip, but hey, it's okay. It's like a neutral color. I, did, I saw this bag and I didn't place the order for three weeks because I said, hmm, there'll be a sale eventually. So as soon as the sale came, you know I'm a sucker for a good bucket bag, but are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is so heavy. Oh, a strappity strap, but I'm not gonna wear it like that. I'm always gonna be super dainty and just hold it like so. I like that it has two zippers. I'm a sucker for zippers. So the more that you can close two handles, I'm here for it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it, summer's only seven months away, but hey, hopefully your girl can go on a vacation sometime soon, cause this, I'm literally in love. Look what Savo Skirt did, like what? The bottom was sold out in my size, so I went down a size. Hopefully that's all right. Hopefully the booty fills it out. Oh, it's looking like it's kinda, oh no. Guys, this might be too big for me. Oh. I wanted to try something different with pink since I don't own very many pink things. Again, I know I'm wearing pink today, but this is literally because I was lazy and I'm like, I don't want to put together an outfit. I just want to be cozy and comfortable and get over the sickness. This came in my size, so hopefully the itty bitties 
can fill it out, or at least it fits. But I thought this was so chic. I'm such a sucker for sets, every time, honestly. Vacation ready with no vacation plan. We'll work on that in 2024, but isn't this a moment? I'm here for it. It is a little bit loose, but hey, maybe that's a good thing, because if your girl gets a good buffet, mm, say less, okay? The top is a tad bit tight, but that's all right. Knitwear has a tendency to stretch throughout the day. <coughs> This sore throat needs to go though. I'm so excited for this trip that I haven't even planned yet. Don't even know when or where we're going, but hey, I'll be ready for it when it comes. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. Sorry, I'm so tired. I have not been up this early on a weekend in a minute, but we cannot afford to be late. This place does not take reservations. We're going to Lady Marmalade for brunch. Comfortable fit. I'm just wearing some sweats from Meshki, top from Naked Wardrobe. I haven't shopped there in a year. Them duties get me every time, but I do love their clothes. I'm gonna pair it with a Ginger Snap by Jo Malone. Obsessed, wish it was stronger. I'm gonna pack this in my purse, Vanilla Beige by Summer Friday, the best lip balm out there. And we're gonna get to this place hopefully in good time because I was up way too late straightening my hair for it to get messed by this potential rain, okay? We're gonna have brunch with Faven today. She's a little on the shy side, not much of a social media butterfly, so I'm not sure if she'll say hi, but if she does, she does. If she doesn't, you'll see the food. So let's get going. Oh wait, shoes. I really wanna wear these. If you saw the last vlog of the vlog before, you know my dilemma with these. The only thing is rain plus suede is a no-go, so. Let's just her and like I thought the Christmas tree was hanging in the air. <laughs> and our teas have arrived. Thank you. Oh, oh no, it's good. Oh. Okay, thank you. coffee at Tim Hortons. There's no actual Baileys in it, but it's good. Better than I thought it'd be. Not amazing. I mean, real Baileys is way better, but you can't have that during the day, right? So anyway, we're going to go to get a couple things from Michael's before we head home and finish up this DIY. but like there's a little weird ridge that we gotta paint over so I gotta find a blue gray can you even see me? hey loves it's Ava on your screen with another vlog I am so out of sorts just to give you inside scoop of what's not going on in my head I accidentally why do I have a receipt in here from yesterday I thought today was not today and by that I mean, I was supposed to have gone to the class we're going to tonight yesterday. Today has been a day. I have no other words. Today has been a day. But luckily, I was able to email the manager and they're gonna honor the ticket so that I can go tonight because otherwise I'd be out of $35. These classes are not cheap, but trust me, they are a lot of fun. I haven't been since January, 2020. Is that real life? I know I started going right before the pandemic, but really it's been three years, that's crazy. So what we're gonna do today is get into something new, but kind of revisit it. Cause I don't think I got to show you the last time I went. Technically, I don't even know if I get to show you this time. I'm just gonna go and ask them if I record a little bit or the last bit or some of it so you can see what it's like to go to Ariel Silks while being blind. The first time I went, they said that they had someone who signed up for their circus camp that was completely blind. So if they could, me with my limited vision should be able to. So let's get going. <laughs> Cause I'm already like, I'm a little frantic. You know when you're rush, rush, rush all day and then you can slow down? That was me cause today was so hectic with work. Like one of the busiest days of 2023, trust me. Not only that, when I went to double check what the directions are to get to this place, since I haven't been there in two, three years, I was like, wait, why does it say yesterday? Just thank God that they honored it. Okay, so 
So what else do I need to pack? Oh, deodorant. Because if I remember anything about last time, lifting your own body weight can break out a sweat. If you ever done pole class, which I did for a bit last year, and you already know, why am I putting on my backpack like I don't have to wear a full winter coat? Like it's not winter outside. What's going on with me? Sort of forgot how slightly sketchy this neighborhood can be. I'm also on the wrong side of the street. It's supposed to be over there. Never took my socks off so fast in my life. Germaphobe over here. That was so much fun. Some things I remembered, some things I was like, oh, whoa, I forgot how hard this is. But I want to go again next week. She asked. Initially, she was going to cancel for the holidays, you know. <sighs> but I just might go next week. We'll see. It was basically like a semi-private class. There was only one other person there. And I might invite my friend Ify. She's the one that we did poll with last year because that's her thing and I just kind of piggybacked off that. So let's see, she'll come do my thing, which I would love to revisit it and have a friend come with. But you know me, I'll do things solo dolo if it comes to that. Anyway, either way, I'm gonna shower real quick. And that's it for today. So I'll see you guys when we do something more interesting, maybe tomorrow day after. There's a lot going on. It's just a matter of me getting a grip and putting you guys on a tripod. That, that part. Remnants. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot better. That's a lot better than, um, than the 
last time because he had some really bad active uh, breakouts. He had big ones. Yeah, big ones and it looks like they're just drying out by the time. So I think that the chemical peel and the starting the arousal really made a huge difference because now we're just dealing with hyperpigmentation. I don't see like a really stupidly active breakout. I, th I think it's more calmed down today. And your face overall looks more brighter, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> like bump that you had on your head that's greatly improved yeah i love it i'm happy it's cold outside so it can numb my face when i leave i know <laughs> and when we're actually microneedling i'll actually put on a headband okay you were designed to be uncomfortable let's be real while we're waiting for this to numb i'm just gonna explain that this is the second chemical peel but my third session here Wait, chemical peel was last time. Let me get it together. This is micro needling, which is far more painful. Even with this numbing, I can still feel it's like a needle hitting at every single pore. But at least then you know it's working, right? And I saw the best results after last session, so I'm excited to see if it's gonna be equal for the micro needling with these sessions. The cream worked a lot faster than I thought it would. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm happy. Oh my goodness. Gracious me. Whew. On one hand, I'm so happy that it is so cold. My face is stinging. At least when I was waiting for the bus, which took 25 minutes. It was supposed to come in three. TTC, it's not reliable. At least it numbed my face. Now that I'm inside, my toes are still frozen. My face is not as numb as I'd like it to be. Microneedling is not for the faint of heart of the week. But just in time, I got something to show you. I didn't end up getting that serum. I wanted to do some research on it first. And I told her, let's just do it next time. And she's like, oh, we might not have it in stock next time. Are you sure? It was $45 more. And I'll do a separate part when I do the video for, oh, I'm so excited for getting more golden tea. When I do the video for, oh, don't touch your face for four hours. When I do the actual sit down video for the dermatologist stuff, I'll explain the prices in the breakdown, but it's already $500 to do micro needling. So 45, yes, it's like less than 10%, but still, like, no, I don't want to add it today. I don't know what this says. I don't know what this says either. One of these should be a matcha. I think this one is the matcha. I just got Grand Cru Matcha, you know, it's a good classic. This feels like matcha, but I don't remember, unless it's vanilla matcha. It's so funny how often I have to go off of memory. This is a oolong, I think, but I don't, I can't tell you what it says. <laughs> I'm so useless doing these hauls. But yeah, I got some teas, boiled some water just in time. <clears throat> I have a meeting in five minutes, so I'll check in with you guys a little later today. I have so many errands to run, but I'm, I'm traumatized by the cold. I just got over a cold, and it's so cold outside, I'm scared my immune can't handle it. I'm just so scared my immune system can't handle it. I'm already sniffling again. I was sneezing, and I wanted to show you guys the whole face process. Does my camera say no space on this card? I can't read it, but I know when the screen goes black, it's either the battery died, or it's saying the memory card is full. Even though the memory card is not full, it just does it sometimes. It's so annoying. 